Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on how to use Burly. Once we're logged into our machine, we're going to navigate to our Burly icon on our desktop and double click to get started. So once the program is loaded, we can log in using the details provided to us and we can begin to get to work. So Burly is broken down into a few different sections and we'll be going through these step by step and figuring out what we need to do to each one in order to create stories and to write our bulletins. To begin with, on our left hand side we have our in queue. Now our in queue consists of different news wires which are currently being pulled into the Burley software. For example this one from IRN, we can expand to see different categories such as entertainment news, sports news and weather. We also have different news wires, so we have an in-house one which is being made by yourself and your team within your newsroom. We have a feed from the BBC and some links to our Dropbox accounts which are linked up to our Mojo devices which can be taken out from our equipment stores. We also have a feed to different Twitter accounts um, such as Reuters, the Press Association and the Associated Press. In our top section we can see our in queue in greater detail and we can see a, an overall snapshot of our different news wires or we can select each one individually to get an idea of different stories which are coming into our software. So in our bottom section we have our work folder. Now your work folder is unique to you and only viewable by you on the machine you're working on. This means that you are able to write your own stories or edit stories from the in queue um, and then once you're done with those, you can post them back up into your in queue, which will then populate the in-house newswire ready for your rest of your team to see, to add to their scripts and to read out within their own bulletins. So to begin writing your own story, navigate to the new menu and select story. Now this will give us a blank document to start working on. And we can begin by adding our own slug. Once we have our slug, otherwise known as a headline, we can start to write our story. Now this is fairly basic and if we were happy with this and this was a finished story then we could post this up into our in queue. To do this, we can right click Post to in queue. You can now see when we navigate to our in house section of our in queue, we can see our news story is ready to be viewed by anybody else within our newsroom. But say, for example, we wanted to edit a story which has been written by someone else. For example, this story has been written about a cyclist, Chris Froome. We can drag this down into our work folder and we can start to make edits to this story. For example, we can change the slug and we can change any text within our story. Once we've made the edits that we'd like, again, we can post this back up into our in queue. Now once we've edited a story that comes from our work folder, it will always populate our in-house news wire. So for example, we can see here we have uh, our news story at the top, which will be viewable by the rest of our newsroom. So we can see on the story that we've been editing, we also have an audio clip attached to the story, which we can use in our bulletin. We can listen to it by clicking on our clip bank. This was all meant to have been a confidential um, process until now say for example we wanted to add our own audio to Burley and attach it to our own story. And we can do this by either dragging something directly from our in queue and attaching it to one of our free clip banks, or we can import our own audio into our Burley software. For example, I'm going to do this now. So I'm going to select my news story. So here's our story which I had written earlier. And I'm going to navigate to a clip which I made earlier. 
So once we've located our clip which we want to import, we can drag this into our work folder. We will get prompted with a dialog box. It will say that this source file is stereo. Do we want to import it as stereo? We're going to say yes. And then we have our clip ready to work on and to make some basic edits to. Now I know that this clip is all right at the moment. I've done all the editing I need to. But what I may want to do is right click and press normalize this audio, which will optimize the volume for our playout system. And what I can do when I'm happy with all the changes I've made is I can post this to our in queue and I can drag this clip down and post it to one of our clip banks on the story which we've written. So that is editing stories and that is importing audio into Burley. Next we're going to look at scripts and how we start to build our bulletins. So to do this we're going to click on our scripts tab at the top of our program and we're going to navigate to a day which has some scripts generated. For example for this one we have Thursday the 5th of July and we're going to find a time, for example this one here for 12 o'clock, we're going to drag this down into our work folder. You'll see this has opened up a different tab alongside our work folder. However, the script you're working on is accessible by everybody within your newsroom. So it's viewable by everybody and not just yourself. Your work folder remains viewable by you and you only. However, the script is a multi-user interface. So it may be worth bearing in mind how many different users are currently editing the script for that time as you may end up with stories coming in or stories coming out that you may not have control over. So to begin adding things to your script, we're going to start off by adding a section break. To do this, we're going to go back up to our new menu and we're going to click section break. Now what this does is it will give you a breakdown of different timings for your different stories, which your bulletin is going to consist of. So I'm just going to quickly rename this one to top of our news. And then I'm going to go back to our NQ and I'm going to start dragging some stories down which I've written into our NQ. And we can see here that our timings for our stories are being shown on our right hand side next to our section break, which is giving you a rough idea of how long each story is going to take. So for example, I've dragged this one in quite a few times now, five times in total. So it's going up to 55 seconds and it's taking me roughly 11 seconds to read each story in total. So once we've built our script and we've added a few more stories than I've added here, we can click on the on air mode button on our right hand side of our Burley screen. Once we click this, it will give us a script in a more easy to read news format. So for example, in our blue at the top here, we have our slugs and then we have our news stories in our standard black text below our slug. Now we can see each one as well is complemented with our clip, which came from one of our clip banks whilst we were in edit mode and we can select this clip again by clicking on it whenever we're ready and after we've read the line from our news story. So for example, my news story on the radio. I mean, I think the clear thing is, first of all, that Russia needs to declare its chemical weapons program. Um, and secondly, it needs to come clean um, about what it's been up to. My news story on the radio. I mean, I think the clear thing is, first of all, that Russia needs to declare. And you get the idea. So this is how we can begin to build up our scripts and work with others within our newsroom to build different scripts based on different stories and provide a great quality bulletin ready for broadcast. Once we're done, we can close our script down and we can remove any items from our work folder which we may not use anymore. I'm just going to clear these away now. I'm happy that all of the stories we were writing before have been populated within our news in queue. And once we're ready, we can close our program to log off.